Hi YouTube, I'm Matt and I react to comedians and comedy sketches I've never seen before. My lolometer down here in the corner is going to count each time I laugh out loud during this video. So this time around I'm going to be watching somebody that I've probably seen bits and pieces of but my god probably 20-30 years ago um, just here and there on TV and it's actually Jasper Carrot. I, I remember there was a sitcom, the name escapes me. It, it was a um, like a police parody sitcom that starred Jasper Carrot. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments what it was. I remember really enjoying that at the time, but I don't remember really watching much Jasper Carrot stand up. So let's see if he's any good. The Royal Shakespeare Theatre, eh? Hey? <laughs> I've always wanted to be a thespian, you know. <laughs> oh, I, I know all the old Shakespearean classics. I know them by heart, you know. A rose by any other name is still a rose. Death, where is thy sting? You can't get quicker than a quit fit bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Just they reckon, you know, they reckon that Shakespeare didn't write the plays. It was Francis Bacon. Have you read about her? Me English. <laughs> yeah, they reckon that Bacon wrote all the Shakespeare plays. It's good. Well, I don't know. I mean, if he, if he, if he did, this would be the Royal Bacon Theatre, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be in Bacon Country. <laughs> Hamlet would be Danish Bacon. I don't know. <laughs> Stratford. I haven't been here for ages. Plant up. It's changed since the last time I was at the... I can't believe all the Americans out there. It's like Vietnam. <laughs> and don't they rip the tourists off here? God, I couldn't believe it. I thought, shall I buy an ice cream with a Cadbury's Flake in or a villa in Marbella? I'm staying in a fabulous hotel, and, um, well, of course, I, I can't tell you which one it is. <laughs> All the women come round afterwards and try and... <laughs> but I'll give you a hint, it's called the Alverston Manor. <laughs> yeah, and fabulous towels, great big fluffy fleecy towels, I can hardly close my suitcase. <laughs> Somebody's trying to buy Birmingham City again. Eh? <laughs> they must be off the topper, mustn't they? I mean, like, I mean, it's a secret. They won't, they won't say who it is. I reckon it's Sketchless. <laughs> <laughs> the last bloke to try and buy him was Richard Branson. Yeah. I mean, no wonder he tried to kill himself in a balloon. But... He tried to buy Birmingham City and part of the deal was, you know, get this, part of the deal was that the players ran round the pitch with Virgin written on the shirt. <laughs> They've never scored in their lives and they got Virgin. <laughs> Mind you, it's the pits in the third division, I've got to admit that. I mean, it's taken us 102 years to get there, but we finally made it. I went to a game after Christmas and I, I said to the bloke standing next to me at half time, Oi! <laughs> they had the cameras there, they had to fake a right between the police and St John's ambulance men. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I've, got, I've got to tell you this. <laughs> no, They've got this new lottery ticket at Birmingham. It's called the Golden Goal, right? And, and you buy this ticket, it's about 25p, and you open it up, and there's a time in the ticket. And if the time is the same as the goal that Birmingham scored first, you win 500 quid, right? So I bought this ticket, I opened it up, and it got October in it. <laughs> I've thrown it away, there's no chances though, I mean. <laughs> I, 
wouldn't mind, but the villa are doing so well. Oh, Liza. Oh, I thought you might be in here. <laughs> what about the villa, eh? <laughs> up the villa, Jasp. <laughs> yeah, right up the villa. <laughs> villa. So it's two syllables, you know, Birmingham City. What bloody chance have they got of supporting <laughs> What else was I? I was doing loads of news oh, a few months ago. I was doing all that Ken Dodd business. I was doing half an hour on Ken Dodd. <laughs> hey, what a lawyer he had. He could get Stevie Wonder a driving license. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two new Diddy men, you know. Diddy Pay and Diddy L. <laughs> Good old Doddy, eh? Good old Doddy. They're called Doddies in the business now, you know. Do you want some Doddies? <laughs> Taken over from Piggott's, you know. <laughs> ah, dear. I've just come back from Spain. Have you? Yes. <laughs> so, I flew out from East Midlands Airport. You ever, have you ever used East Midlands Airport? <laughs> Isn't it quaint? <laughs> It's a nice Diddy Airport, isn't it? It's the only runway I've seen with a cattle grid. <laughs> They've got air traffic control. It's a bloke with a megaphone. Get out the bloody road! <laughs> and I, I flew on this knackered airline. I can't tell you which one it is, obviously, but like, I walked across to get on the plane and the pilot was kicking the tyres. <laughs> <laughs> said, yeah, should get us there. Hey, hey. <laughs> They're trying to jump lead it from a Vauxhall Viva, you know. <laughs> I got on the plane, they took the steps away and the plane fell over. <laughs> This air hostess with a sense of humour, it's unique, isn't it? I said, what time do we get in? She said, I don't know, we've never made it yet. <laughs> we started off down the runway. And... <laughs> I thought we're never going to bloody take off here. <laughs> I looked out the window, we're on the M1. <laughs> Stopped up at the services with a Vimto and a wagon wheel, you know. <laughs> Jasper Carrot. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, she left me with a smile on my face. Um, that was funny. Uh, I enjoyed watching that. It was a nice sort of blast from the past. I thought when he started on the football theme, it was all going to go over my head because I don't watch football anymore. I used to watch it when I was a kid, but I don't watch football at all anymore. But the jokes were relevant enough and I understood them all and I got it. Some of the jokes were dated, but it didn't matter. It was still funny and still relevant. But yeah, really good. Really enjoyed that. And I definitely want to find out the name of that TV series with Jasper Carrot in. And I'll probably like to check that out again. But yeah, very enjoyable, uh, very funny, um, a nice blast from the past. So don't forget to like this video, drop a comment below, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, and I'll see you next time.